Hey, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar Kodash, Barak and Thumb. I want to say, Kaf Allah, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Bless salutations to your brothers at the teaching of doing truth and sincerity. Double honors to our apostles who are of GMS who rule well. Uh, I just wanted to go over this lesson on um, just, just uh, the in transit rant, spiritual rant, I would say. You know, uh, going over the fact of uh, pressing toward the mark. And, um, you know, throughout the throughout the uh, the course of this year, you know, this is the year of Karagma, which is uh, the year of mark of the mark, which is the mark of the beast, the RFID chip. Um, and, and within that, you know, we still talk about things because uh, the year of the mark is a, a pivotal time. You know, um, it's a very uh, clutch time. It's very going to be a very hard time. It's going to be a transition. You know, and. Uh, <clears throat> One thing that that uh, has been bouncing around is maintaining your your uh, maintaining your poise within this ministry because you know I, um, you find yourself trying to maintain me myself also you know um, well I don't have a problem with it but just understanding the fact of the balance of mourning and also you know. Um, being excited because just the same as Jacob's trouble, the RFID, RFID chip, the mark of the beast, those type of events would, would kind of send you like, oh shit, it's going down type of spirit, you know? And uh, basically, you know what I'm saying? Also going through Babylon when they're passing these laws, the guy, you know, the children is getting more wicked. The women is getting more wicked. You know, Esau is showing his colors. You know, it, it's a it's a glorious time. And at the same time, it's a, a dreadful time. It, it, it's going to get worse. And through the spirit, you press to, if you're, if you're focusing on pressing toward the mark, that makes everything easier for you. Because you're not, of course, you're going to be paying attention to things that are, uh, going on around you but at the same time if you have a goal you really don't you really don't the the outside things don't affect you you know uh, if, if you're in college and you want to graduate and you're trying your best to get this PhD masters BLS uh, or bachelor's if I said it right I said BLS but um, bachelor's and things like that you know if you're dead locked on it you know, uh, uh, you're gonna you're gonna make it. It's good. The, the surrounding things are not uh, gonna be as distracting. That's why the Lord said He came worship two masters, and He said, "Have your eyes single," because if you're focused on one thing, then it's, it's it's not as distracting to worry about the others. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, the the curses in Babylon, yeah, the, cur the curses suck. You know, uh, uh, being at the bottom sucks. Dealing with these, you know, dealing with these women, dealing with the job, you know, your kid, you know, dealing with Edomites and, 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 and being indoctrinated with democracy and all this other madness. Yeah, that shit sucks. You know what I'm saying? And it's vexing, you know, but it, it'll destroy you if you let it, you know. So what is the what is the thing to counteract that? Because you shouldn't be complacent with Babylon and just be walking along whistling Dixie like nothing's going on but at the same time of acknowledging it you don't let that same vibration and energy consume you and become you you know what I'm saying that that mourning and, and weeping the scripture says you're supposed to sigh and cry for all abominations that be done but don't let it just tear you apart to where you just dread going outside, you dread going to work, everybody pisses you off. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of it. You're not supposed to like it. So what do you do to circumvent that? You focus on the uh, on the uh, kingdom. You focus on the task at hand. You're in, you're focusing on done. You're being kingdom minded. 
You know what I'm saying? You're thinking about the 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 the, the walls built with gold. You're thinking that's the you know that's the furthest point you would want to think. But in, in the shallow sense, you want to think about you know what 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 breakdowns I need them to get better get better at. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a thing where I'm challenging the brothers within a camp uh, uh, via through inspiration of other brothers talking to them through chats that, you know, having a perfect day, you know, and I, I believe I brought that up before, but focusing on accomplishing as much as you possibly can in a constructive manner throughout your day, you know, and guess what? Your, your, your focus will be on that and, and you wouldn't even really can't say you won't notice, but it, you won't be moved by all this bullshit that's going on around. You know, do your make sure you do your lessons. You read your chapter, go into history. You know, cut your grass. You know, uh, uh, spend time with your spend time with your little one. Go to work. You know what I'm saying? With whatever your goal is at work, to not bother anybody, or not be bothered by anybody. Stick and move whatever's in your power. You know, have a good day at work to your best ability. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Contacting, you know, uh, the Zaquarium, you know, which reminds me, I got to contact, I got to check in myself, you know, uh, uh, things like that. There's a lot of things that you could do throughout your day and, um, a good, you could, you could, you can make it, you can make your day a good hour and let that hour turn into a, a, you know, good half of the day. Let the good half of the day turn to a good whole day and that good whole day turn to a good week week to a month, month to a year, you know what I'm saying, until the Lord deems it fit for us to get the fuck up out of here, so that's the that's the mindset that, you know, I tried to instill on the brothers, and there was another mindset that was, you know, highly effective, that the brothers suggested was, you know, um, be positive throughout the day, you know, and they ain't talking about like this blind, biased, positive where you don't want no negative energy type of thing is is basically don't within your power don't incite negative energy or don't incite you know don't respond negative all the time but you know be be hopeful toward it and we ain't talking about toward no two-thirds no niggas we're talking about toward brothers you know because sometimes we could be a, a negative person that is you know a, a, a unsupportive or, or, or um, constricting brother, you know, because sometimes knowledge, uh, 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 what says knowledge increases bitterness. So the more stuff you know, it's like, you you know, hey man, I want to, you know, do this or that. It's like, well, say it in a more positive manner to sit there and say, well, do it like this and do it like that. To, just to create a vibration of, of positive energy and it's very, very good, you know. But again, it's not that acting like nothing's going on. No, it's not being oblivious to nothing. It's, it's basically, you know, if, if the, like the storms, the hurricanes hitting, instead of, you know, saying, you know what I'm saying, oh man, you know, thinking negative, saying, hey man, think positive. Hey, the most high is moving. The prophecies are coming to pass, right? You know, let's send up some prayers that the brothers are safe. Let's pray that the most high's will is done on these two thirds and things like that very positive and it may not be positive for a two-third but it's positive for us you know what i'm saying uh, if a brother's struggling with reading you know instead of saying hey brother you need to shake that shit off which you know ain't nothing wrong with it you 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 do it in a positive light by saying hey man well let's just read this real quick you know i got some ideas we could bounce around and, and then you know get that brother to read you know things like that and these things uh, uh these activities Create a um, these activities create a a, a uh, distracted environment. You know what I'm saying? Which is, I think I think it's hella positive to have that to be, you know, um, constructively working towards something, man. You know, like you know, you go to the ant. The ant works, and that work really is talking about the ministry and also learning. But this is, you know, working on your inner man. You know what I'm saying? Constantly being, um, you know, I would say positive, constantly being constructive, constantly moving in a direction instead of being the, the same old guy that repented out of the world 
and and is letting like the sins, the, letting your sins weigh you down, man. You know what I'm saying? Because we're all pieces of shit. I get it. You know what I'm saying? We all deserve death, and we all are mourning, and we all tired of this motherfucker. You know, uh, um, and we all repenting, and we all trying our best to overcome, you know, this world. But the only way you can really overcome is if you focus on the task at hand. You know, it, it's, it, it reminds me when I when I used to cut weight as a fighter. You know, yeah, cutting weight was 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 grievous, but it wasn't the thing I focused on because I had to fight. I had to. I was, I was more. I was more concentrated on the opponent. Now, cutting weight was there; it existed, but my main stress was the opponent. You know, it, it's just like when you get hurt somewhere and somebody else pinch you in another spot. You know, you're supposed to find something in this truth that's enjoyable, which to me and from my experience is to be constructive. You know what I'm saying? Find things to improve yourself. Find ways to uh, uh, become a better you than you was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a new breakdown. And I ain't talking about no brand new breakdown that nobody know about. I'm talking about, you know, these hard, hard chapters to read. I'm talking about going into history, really learning something new about King David or learning something new about Joseph. And the, the, there's a lot of information out there, you know, the way the, the areas he traveled, where the wars happened at and things like that. There's things like there's there to occupy your mind in order for you to be be uh, distracted from the, the noise that's going on around you. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you still pay attention to the noise, but don't let that noise just have you like, you know, screaming, everybody shut up, you know what I'm saying? Or let me get away from this, or this is, I, I got to deal with this, you know, like, nah, stay focused, you know, press toward the mark, endure hardness as a good soldier of your shot and my shot. And that word soldier goes back to champion, winner. You know, endure hardness. You know what I'm saying? And the Lord saying you get rebuke for righteous sake, right for righteousness sake, you take it, you know, uh, 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 as blessed as he. And then he said, if you, you know, um, if, if you got a forward master and, and, that, and that master um, rebukes you, you know, it says, and you take it cheerfully, then that's thank worthy toward the most high. So it, it's a whole mindset, man. We had to be in a mindset of, of being uh, able to, uh, uh, being hard body, for lack of better words, being a person that can take take that uh, that punishment with a smile, knowing that we got a, a, a task at hand, we got a goal here, we got a, a job to uh, fulfill, you know? So I just wanted to put that out there for you, Akim. Hopefully that was edifying, man. You know, I think it's very, very important you know, because you can get in this truth and you can be too lackadaisical and you could be too, too, uh, 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 too much in the morning spirit, you know. But I believe like as a Psalm of David, sometimes you bounce into a conquering mentality, a joy, a, a, a loving mentality where you praise the most high. There's nobody like you. And, you know, sometimes you get into uh, uh, how much you love the brotherhood or the ministry. Sometimes you get into that mourning. Sometimes you get into that war spirit. It, it bounces around, but you shouldn't just be a, a stagnant water of, of, of a ball of misery. You know, you all, you know, there's nothing wrong with morning because morning keep you on your toes. Morning keep you out of the mindset of of enjoying this motherfucker too much. Um, and then you got your 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 warrior spirit where you just want to overcome and you tired of being complacent. Then you got your spirit where you're happy and you get around the Akim and the brothers. And, and, and you're communing with the brothers, you know. You don't want to be a brother that, you know, is sitting in the corner like, what's wrong with him? Yeah, the Babylon's getting to him as usual. You know, like, Babylon, I'm tired of being here. Even at the at camp, my brother's enjoying brother's company. So it, it's like, you know, find your balance. Find your find your niche. Be be a good vibration of, of, of energy that brothers can feed off of because brothers need that too because some brothers may be mourning and your energy will raise them up 
You know, same thing with any other opposing uh, vibration or spirit that brothers are in, you know. Uh, so with that being said, um, you know, I, I, I want to say one more thing, you know, uh, same thing with the aspect. Sometimes you'll be all jovial and happy and, and, and bouncing around. And then you got a brother that's focused on doing what he's supposed to do and, and is being, being structural. And he say, hey, man, let's read. And it'll take you out of that aspect, aspect of having too much fun to be like, yeah, let me sit my ass down and study. I'm getting, I'm getting too chill. You know what I'm saying? So it's a balance. We need each other, you know? So with that being said, I'll say call hello to your Howard Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rukhah, Kadash. Want to get double onside apostles slash elders with y'all GMS and bless the teachers to your brothers out there teaching and enduring truth and sincerity. Sincere, I have a thumb, Shalom.